Hey, so I'm starting off this vlog today in my messy bedroom. Um, just getting ready. It is Saturday, which is so nice. After two weeks back at work, I'm just really appreciating the weekends, getting to just, you know, not even necessarily sleep in, but just when you wake up, just honestly climbing back into bed because you can. That's a mood. Today I'm going into town with my mom and we are on the hunt for a particular sandal that I saw recently that was cute. I've seen it a few times, um, but yeah. So I did my face makeup, just some, I kind of went a little more on the face makeup than I usually do because my skin has just been having problems and today I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I'm just not, I don't, I don't feel very good. Yesterday at work, I just felt so depleted and just overall blah. And then I kept thinking my period was coming. It didn't. And then today, um, today it is. So that's a whole nother thing. I need to do an update video on my journey off of birth control because a lot of stuff has happened and also a lot of stuff has not happened so yeah it's just it's, <laughs> it has been a time lately and a lot of things are falling apart but it's okay so back to what I was saying about yesterday I just did not feel good and then I found out something yesterday that just like tanked my mood and like kept me that way the rest of the evening um but now that i know that my period has come today i think i'm going to put part of the blame on that i mean it does make sense because usually like i'll be stressed about something and like this and that and i'll get over it but like yesterday the bad mood just like stuck with me um, which is really odd because i was so looking forward to getting off work it being friday coming home relaxing spending time with my parents and things like that and so yeah it, would, it just did not go as planned <laughs> i talk about things pretty candidly in my videos and i guess menstrual health is just one of them now because i've educated myself so much on it and all of that jazz and then it just makes so much sense for daily life being a cyclical being i recently got the ilia mascara sample size for my birthday you know how sephora sends you like a free gift i chose the ilia beauty set and so far it is so nice i will show you also recently ariana did my eyebrows for me she tweezed them into a very nice natural shape and gave me a lot more eye space which i really really like both eyelashes are curled um but yeah obviously this one has mascara this one does not and that was only a couple applications, so it is a really nice lengthening mascara. I'll do a little highlight. Did my makeup. I need to just now. Missed it. Today I'm wearing this shirt. Head over to live action to see what it's all about these are the jeans and what is so cool about these is that i thrifted these they are embroidered and just so pretty and they fit me perfectly and they literally cost six dollars i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair today i might just have it down honestly because i washed it last night so it's all nice and clean purple is really fading by now it's honestly more of a pink magenta than anything, but never got the lavender hair. <laughs> I have a hair appointment, not next week, but the next week, and I'm going to be getting balayage done, so. I heard back from a job that I applied to over a month ago. My interview is on Monday. As soon as I got that email, I just got so happy and so excited and so hopeful because I'll be honest, things have not been very hopeful for me lately. Um, and even it's just hard, especially when you do try to remember everything that you have going for you and that you are grateful for. It is really hard when 
you expected your life to look so different or for certain things to be happening by now and you just find yourself in a completely different spot than you thought um so i have just been very discouraged lately just being honest and real if i don't get it though you know I know there is a reason for that and that God has something planned for me greater and that as long as I am doing my part as well and not just, you know, kicking back and being like, you go, God, take me places. Um, as long as I'm doing my part too, I know things are going to be okay, even if um, it's going to take a while and not how I planned it. So yeah, that is my spiel as of late. We just came out of the mall and we got the sandals that I had been looking for. I tried them on and they fit perfect. So I'm really excited to wear those. They're a pair of Tevas, right? Yes. Yes. A pastel color. Yeah, they're like pastel color. Oh. It's okay, I have to. Just pull that in front of somebody. Ugh, speed bump. Anyway, we recently got a Shields. I guess not too recent, but um, I had never been in there before, so mom and i went in there and we were amazed truly amazed i've never been in there either i loved it there was a purse that i saw for 345 dollars <laughs> i couldn't afford always it always the purses <laughs> well angie had already got me the shoe for mother's day ah, beautiful yes. you want to Robinson. say what you got like a, a birkenstock. birkenstock you don't have to look at the camera I'm just focus baby on me. blue <laughs> made out of material for camping the lake yeah. The kayak, the whole works. So they're Birkenstock sandals, but they're made out of material that you can get wet and stuff. And then at Shields, um, I turned around a corner and saw the most beautiful dress on this mannequin. <laughs> I saw it before Andrea, but Did she you? didn't know it. And I thought, once she sees that, oh, she'll it was be locked beautiful. into it. And so I went and tried it on and it was just fit perfect. And honestly, you can't really find a lot of dresses like that anymore. It was long, flowy, short sleeve. And floral. Floral, which I love. I got it. So those are the two things that I got today. And before we came into town, we stopped oh at Dairy Queen and I'm had still full. Um, some good food. We got their very cherry blizzard, which is pretty good. Very delicious. I like cherry ice cream. So I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare routine and do the Ordinary Peeling Solution for the very first time. I don't know if I'm going to wear gloves yet or not. I'm still debating that. <laughs> Apparently it's a good idea to wear gloves if you have sensitive skin or you're new to the product. So yeah, since it's the very first time that I'm doing the peel, I'm only going to leave it on. I think I've decided for like four minutes to start with. Um, I have done chemical exfoliants before on my skin. Um, I'll show you the one that I use every four-ish days. I did do a patch test as well. I did a patch test behind my ear and on my wrist and it was fine and that was a few days ago. So this is the one that I have been using. This is my second bottle. applied it but I don't know how well I did and I did use gloves but honestly I didn't like it so I don't know if I will again. I didn't really like though, the feeling of applying with gloves and I felt like I also wasted a ton of product on the gloves as well so yeah. I'm going to leave it on though for four minutes and then I'll rinse it off and hopefully my face will not be scarred forever. Hello and good morning so it is the next day and basically after i did the ordinary peel last night my skin was absolutely fine um so i think it does really help if your skin is already used to chemical exfoliants like i was saying 
last night. Um, so next time I'll probably leave it on for seven minutes and then the next time probably the full 10 if everything goes well again. All in all, I think my first experience using it was fine and nothing crazy happened. So I'm very glad of that. Thank you.